Hello and welcome back everyone. Please forgive the voice I've had laryngitis for the past almost week and a half. But I thought these anomalies are so important, got to get them out right now. So stay tuned for this one. We're looking at a redux of anomalies that I found quite a while ago in Western Utopia Planitia. Right, cluster of craters in Utopia Planitia acquired on the 3rd of May 2008 at a resolution of 30.1 centimeters per pixel. I'm showing you images are cropped from this JP2 black and white map projected file. There's a look at the low res black and white. And the area we're looking at here is to the western edge of Utopia Planitia at 43 degrees 10 minutes north, 76 degrees 53 minutes east. To start off with, let's have a look at the strange block or slab there. And for reference, you can use the scale indicator to determine how large these anomalies are. Let's have a close up look. This was done using Gigapixel AI to get the uniformity in the thickness, the right angles, and then the customary smaller protrusion in the center or close to the center. We're looking at that block there, folks. Check this out. Again, a small protrusion or object on the top. These remind me of those blocks and megaliths with the protrusions we get down at Rennes in South America. We're looking at the block or strange structure like anomaly to the bottom. The way this thing sort of ramps up onto the top. So it doesn't look as if this is a sand dune either. It's a very strange piece coming over the top and in this part sticking up like a it's like a ramp slightly rounded as well there's another one of these partial disc like anomalies the protrusion in the center Two blocks, next one another here, folks. Parallel to one another, nice right angles, rounded corners. This one's quite cool as well. Check out the well-defined edges and the right angle. And in that there seems to be an opening this smaller part on the inside there's also a slot parallel with the one side over there we got the block to the left uniformity right angles smooth flat surfaces yeah we're looking at the part just above my head to the left that would looks like a top of a slot or opening here on the top in so many of those parts on Mars as well let's zoom in on this piece it's got a strange pattern on it small protrusion in the center and then these four smaller dark areas almost symmetrically around the center part the spacing between those we're looking at a nice edge to that block check this out it's almost like a bevel nice right angle as well the uniformity in the thickness of that area and it's diagonally across the surface check out this part 
nice hole right there in her center. Very symmetrical and geometric as well. Looks like something is sticking out of the hole over there to the left. We're looking at the strains of our structure like anomaly to the right. The right angles to these over here as well. Small part on the top. There's like a little hole there as well. Could this be open on the right hand side? Also quite an intriguing block over here folks. Check out this narrow rectangular hollowed out feature on the inside and then a small protrusion on the top. It's almost like a top of a vent. We're looking at the blocks over there in the center of the screen. Looks almost like a shield, the design, uniformity in the thickness as well, and it seems to be attached to the larger part. We're looking at the triangular depiction on that block. Check this out, folks. Lots of symmetry and geometry going on. Yeah, the plectrum shape facing towards the center of those two almost equal sized dark spots another one of those blocks with nice straight edges a right angle to it some more blocks over here this looks like it was part of a megalithic structure that was totally decimated in the past and sand and debris is covering everything Looks like everything I was blown apart. Then we're looking at the block to the top. Again, nice right angles to it, smooth flat surfaces. Up next, we're looking at a very strange surface feature, but I can't find it on the photograph for some other reason. But there it is, folks. It's about three meters across. Got this strange design to it as well. Looks almost like a piece of uh, glass with a darker spot in the center. And then lastly, the block right there in the center of the image. Nice right angles to it. It's not slightly rounded, it's got a nice smooth rounded surface to it. Okay, let's shoot off to the northern mid-latitudes to that site. These are the anomalies I previously featured when I used PhotoZoom Pro 7. Just for comparison, so you can see the difference between what they look like with PhotoZoom Pro 7 and then Topaz Labs Gigapixel AI. And yeah, they are new close ups using my new software. It does an amazing job. So we've got Utopia Planitia outlined here. Yeah, let's have a look at another site close by. And uh, of course, I'll be doing new close ups of these in the near future as well. Lots of patterns on the objects in this area as well.
I do apologize for my voice once again, folks. I hope you enjoyed this one. Take care. Hopefully, for the next video, I'll be a lot better. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye for now.